everyone. Thank you so very much for joining us on this Wednesday Wisdom. Hope that you are doing well this morning. I know that Facebook is busy uh, building an audience for us, so uh, we'll give it just a minute. Just as a quick reminder, uh, the uh, time change happens this weekend, so if you are not aware of that, now that you are, um, make plans to fall back one hour uh, with that time change. I know everybody looks forward to that. Uh, getting that extra hour of sleep, uh, but just as a, a reminder for that. Speaking of which, uh, that is our devotional this morning is about time. Uh, we've been going from Proverbs chapter 30, and we have looked uh, at the section beginning with verse 24 and have gone down to verse 28. Uh, but for reasons that, uh, that I have since the very beginning, I wanted to start at the bottom and work our way up. And we're going to end uh, this little section with verse 25. Uh, King Gregor is the one that's writing these Proverbs, and he says, Four things on earth are small, but they are exceedingly wise. And then verse 25, The ants are people not strong, yet they provide their food in the summer. What if I were to tell you that as, you would, as you're getting ready, that you open up the app on your phone and you check your bank account, and all of a sudden, you notice that there was deposited into your account $86,400. Uh, no extra change, but that is the exact amount. Most likely in a couple of hours when your bank opened, you would call your manager, the bank manager, whoever runs the, uh, the organization, and you would find out whether that was true or not. Certainly that had to be a mistake. But you find out from the bank manager that it's not a mistake, uh, that they intentionally gave you $86,400. Uh, and they told you, you can use it in any way that you desire. The only catch is that you cannot stash it. You can't save it. You can't invest it. Uh, you cannot carry it over into the next day. That whatever you do not spend, whatever you do not use is just going to be lost. You cannot reclaim it. Now, most likely, again, that many of us would would be so shocked to find out that if we had been given into our account $86,400. But what if I were to tell you that by virtue of waking up this morning that God deposited into our account 86,400 seconds? See, that's the amount of time that we have in front of us. 86,400 seconds is the amount of time equal to one day. God has given us time. And he has told us that we can spend it in any way that we want. We can use it in whatever ways that we want. Work, school, family, friends, church. You can use your time. The only catch is, at the end of this day, we don't get to carry it over. We don't get to put it into a 401k or to an IRA. We don't get to save it. We don't get to carry it over and, and add it to another day. That whatever time we have now, 24 hours from now, it will be a different set. We don't get to carry that over. And you see, and that's what the ant teaches us. That even though it is a group, as King Agor says, the ant is a people that is not strong. And that's true. We can watch a small ant and just by virtue of its size, we know that it is, compared to us, not very strong at all. It's weak. Uh, even as a group, they're easy to, to deal with, to handle. But what the ant does teach us is how to use our time wisely. This is the indication with King Adore when he says that the ants are people not strong, and yet they provide their, their food in the summer. The ant knows how to use the present. It knows how to use the time that it's been given. That's the wisdom that they teach us. Do you know that the New Testament carries over this theme in Ephesians 5? Verses 15 and 16, the Apostle Paul says, Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. I don't know if you have that maybe into your memory or you have that underlined or highlighted in your Bible, but I know at least from the English Standard Version in Ephesians 5.16 in mine, I have it underlined and highlighted, making the best use of the time. My encouragement to you today is to walk in wisdom like the ant, not just to be thankful for the time that we have because God is the one who's given it to us, 
but even more importantly, make the best use of the time that's been given. Work hard. Enjoy time with your family. We only have two months now with uh, left in this calendar year, seeing that this is November 1st, the time change happening this weekend. Time, reminders all around us that time is fleeting, that we need to use it wisely, and we need to make the best use of it as much as we possibly can. That's my encouragement to you. Walk not as a people unwise, but as a people that is wise, making the best use of the time that God has given. Remember, as you move forward, God has seen fit to deposit into our account as of a few hours ago when the clock switched over from yesterday to today at 12 a.m., he gave us 86,400 seconds. Be thankful for it and use it wisely. Thank you for joining us on our Wednesday Wisdom. I hope that you have found it to be beneficial and helpful to you. If you have, please share it with your friends, share it with your family. Uh, and if, if you live in the Raleigh area, we would love to have you pay a visit at the Raleigh Church of Christ. We're located at 911 Behringer Drive in Raleigh, North Carolina. Uh, we have Bible class tonight, 7 o'clock. We have classes for all ages. If you're unable to join us tonight, we would love to have you on Sunday morning, uh, 930 for our Sunday school and 1030 uh, for our morning worship. We hope to see you. I hope that you have a great day and I hope that you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.